Sort of like two steps forward, one step into the past. This week, workers on Ingersoll Avenue uncovered a portion of Des Moines history. We're talking about the trolley tracks from as far back as 1866, and now there's an effort to preserve that history. WHO 13's Roger Riley reports. Drivers and businesses along Ingersoll Avenue have learned patience during this road construction. So far, the city's been really good keeping us going in and out. Um, patients have all made it. Not on time, but they've made it, so we appreciate that. This week, photos were floating around on Facebook. Street work on Ingersoll revealed old streetcar tracks uncovered by the construction. Streetcars actually started in Des Moines in 1866, a horse drawn, and uh, then the electric came in 1888. Earl Short spearheads the Friends of Des Moines Streetcar Facebook group. He used to ride with his dad when he was driving the streetcar. Well, my dad was a streetcar operator starting in 1923, and uh, he he worked until with the company until 1961. And I rode with him on the streetcars out on this loop. Well, the streetcar friends say they credit the city of Des Moines for reaching out to them and working with them to save some of the streetcar rails. Crews began picking up the rails, but there are plans for this old iron to be on display again. The Friends of the Waveland Trolley, which used the turnaround here by the Waveland Golf Course, they plan a $275,000 monument to the Des Moines trolley system. The monument um, is going to be 27 foot long, 10 foot high. It's in the form of a streetcar. Now where electric street trolleys once served, electric vehicles once again are moving people around the area. In Des Moines, Roger Riley, WHO 13 News. The Friends of the Waveland Trolley still need to raise about $45,000 towards that monument. They're hoping to start construction this fall.